Hey guys, hope you're doing well uh, today. I'm working this Trump 2020 number 32 Corey LaJoy, and um, I'm also working this Logano 2015 Darlington car. But um, I, I've said this before, I really enjoy putting white and very light colored decals on a dark uh, painted car. And so uh, this is this is fun to me uh, making this car, and um, you know it's pretty. It's actually one of the easiest cars to make. Um, you know the decals are real straightforward. I mean the you know you paint the car all blue, and I painted the spoiler black here, and um, and then you just cut out the decals and put them on. It's really straightforward. the The hardest part is probably laying this side decal in place making sure you get all the water out and then this little area right here where where the uh, the body kind of kicks out a little bit where it, it kind of kicks out and goes back in right over this rear fender um, is uh, is is the hardest to get you know to lay nice and clean and and, and flat so uh, you kind of have to watch that but outside of that I mean there's no complicated um, work involved in this um, it's real straightforward and um, <clears throat> you know actually you know probably one of the easiest easiest customs that uh, that I'll do um, and so I'm gonna do this uh, passenger side here and um, get it in the water and then I'll show you guys some other things that I've got working I um I really love YouTube. I I uh, I have to admit um, I have learned so much uh, from other people on YouTube. It's really been a blessing, um, you know, in the sharing of videos and sharing of knowledge. I think it's vitally important uh, platform, and um, you know, I really uh, really enjoy it. I'm sure. You know, you guys have your same experiences, you know, on YouTube, just learning from other people and, and uh, you know, just being able to search and find, you know, whatever topic you want to look up. And, and I'm, you know, it's pretty certain there's a there's a instructional video or something, you know, that um, that can kind of show you what to do. Um, case in point, I don't know if you can hear our hot water heater was... Um, was shutting on, turning on, shutting off, sh turning on, shutting off, turning on, shutting off, and then just shutting down. And um, I suspected that it was the thermocouple because I had messed around with that before. Uh, the thing is about, the hot water heater is about, I don't know, 15, 16 years old. And so, um, you know, I just, I just um, went on to Google. I Googled it. You know, hey, my hot water heater is turn it on, turn it off, you know, and, um, you know, within, you know, what, 30 seconds, <laughs> I've got links to videos of, um, you know, and, and I, I had my make and model uh, available, and within, you know, just, you know, 30 seconds, I'm starting to watch a few videos on some people, on some of the, you know, basic hot water heater problems and how to fix them yourself before, you know, so you don't have to call a, you know, call a plumber or, you know, call an electrician or whatever. Um, and so I watched a, I watched a quick video, went ahead, checked it out, um, and uh, within, I don't know, 10 minutes, it's running. It's running. I just had to, um, uh, there was a little debris that had accumulated at the bottom of the, uh, you know, where the thermocouple is. And all I had to do was just kind of vacuum it out, clean it out. Uh, there was a little piece of debris that was leaning on the thermocouple, which was giving it a, a, a bad reading. And, um, like I said, cleaned it out, took out that little piece of debris, and um, we're rolling again. So...
when you have a house of uh, got three girls in this house not having hot water you know you're you're gonna be you're gonna be in a dog house real quick <laughs> so so I needed to move on that hot water heater and get that thing running and I am I am just I don't know I I, I work on my own vehicles I like to do my own stuff if it's all you know if it's all possible that I can do it myself I like to I like to kind of be that independent self-sufficient person and um, and in this case uh, success I've had other cases where it's not and I gotta call for help but um, yeah so uh, so yeah YouTube's great I mean there's you know as you probably realize there's also junk on YouTube and um, you know you just you gotta you know control yourself don't don't look up that crap and and uh, you know focus on what's good and and helpful and and keep it there so I said I was working so that's in the water I'll give it a few minutes so I was working this 2015 Darlington uh, Logano car it's not it's not a perfect match to what he drove in the race actually this Pennzoil wasn't there and this big circle 22 was um, was the only thing that was on the on the uh, the roof here and it was actually pretty big um, but I'm gonna use Pato's decals and, and do it that way um, I've already decaled you know the front here and, um, and and got that going so that's good I had made a mistake kind of embarrassing um, I had went ahead and painted the spoiler black just assuming that it was black but um, I, I went and just double checked in the pictures real quick to see what I was looking at and the suckers red <laughs> so so I wasted time in painting it black so I had to I got some paint thinner out you know rubbed it off had to repaint the spoiler red I got a little black residue there I mean it's pretty much done there's a decal that goes across this back so I'm not too concerned about that the way that looks but um, anyways um, you know just Sometimes I get ahead of myself, and and I just have to take my time and and uh, and get back and do it right. I, I've said these are some of the hardest cars to make because the way that this decal set works, right? So you have this yellow comes around here, and the the one piece that connects it is this. <coughs> Excuse me. So I can already tell that's there's going to be a little yellow in here, and I may get some um, I, before I put this. I'm going to put this piece in first, and before I put this one in, I'm going to get some yellow paint, and I'll probably put some. I'll have to put some coats of clear sealer on this, and I think I'm just going to touch up around this little nose area here because it's not going to it's not going to cover. You know, it's not going to cover everything. There's going to be a little red showing through. So I want to be able to uh, paint that, pre-paint that. I'll probably pre-paint on this side over here too, where this decal will end. And then I'll just drop that thing right in there. And uh, and that'll be that. So, oops. So this is a this is a little bit of a challenging car. Um, and and it's primarily just this area here around the hood, the headlights, but. I mean that's is that not one of the most important pieces of the car right right there on the on the hood right you've got the hood and you've got the the front the front piece in the grill and I just don't want any red showing through if I can help it um, so so that's that uh, let's look over here um, just listed one of the um, Ryan Newman 2013 you know, Brickyard 400 wins the Quick and Lone Smurfs car. So, Mike, this is your car. Um, sent you a message on eBay, so uh, that'll be yours. The other one is up for sale. This will be a Kenseth uh, 42 and a couple Clover cars. I, I just did the JB Weld this morning. It's been sitting all day, so that'll be ready. Those are uh, pretty much ready to go as far as uh, get. I can decal those. Uh, painted this spoiler black. Um, 
I've got a request for a Minions car from a gentleman across the pond uh, over in the UK and so um, uh, I gotta work that one uh, try to slide that in for him he's been a customer of mine for I would say probably a good eight years and uh, so if you're watching uh, Mr. P um, you know that'll be yours um, <clears throat> I've run into a little bit of a snag and I for some reason again this is just something I just overlooked I've got these 2019 Blaney Dickies um, cars actually this is a Duracell and the Dickies is over there um, this is a 2019 and it's a Mustang and uh, so Mr. R.A., um, I've got this, uh, this one here, but I only have one of them. I only have one 2019 Ryan Blaney uh, Mustang cars, and, um, and so I'm, I'm stuck. Um, I've got to order three more. I've got a bunch of 2018 Fusions, and I was, I was kind of thinking I would use those, but they're Fusions. And I, didn't, I just didn't connect the Mustang switch from 2018 to 2019. So I've got to buy some more Mustangs. But interestingly about uh, the Duracell one, um, it comes with the bright yellow rims. So um, so those rims right there, those bright yellow that matches the uh, the very bright, um, you know, kind of fluorescent yellow that uh, Ryan likes to run. Um, so this will be a, a bright yellow and the rims, I got the rims. But I noticed, I think this was the one that was driven at the Charlotte Roval, if I'm correct, and they had a, a wiper blade, and so I'm gonna I'm gonna add a wiper blade to that, um, and I'll show you guys how I do that. That's I don't think I've ever showed you guys how I do the wiper blade. It's kind of funny. Um, so in the coming uh, days, um, when I work this car, I'll, I'll show you that, and um, I'm I'm hoping you like it. Um, I I. Um, and, and in that video, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you all the links I went to try to find a stinking wiper blade for a 164 car. And it never materialized to what I was really wanting. So, uh, anyways, um, this is going to be bright yellow with the wiper blade and the bright yellow rims uh, for this one. And, um, and then for this Dickies, this is the dark blue. And it comes with, I, I wrote dark yellow rims, but it's really just the basic yellow rim so it kind of matches that 12 it's not bright yellow it's just a regular yellow um, rims and so I am um, going to be getting some of these 2019 cars I think I'm gonna have to buy um, I don't say have to but I think I'm gonna buy some Keselowski uh, 2019s um, because uh, that's gonna be my best deal and to get the rims that I want to so that's what's going on with those those customs um, and then um, I did run into a problem I'll just say I'll say it here kind of quickly I ordered I've I've ordered from a number of people on eBay and um, you know plan B sales and uh, K-State diecast K-State diecast is really good those guys are great um, I try to again I try to get the cars at a good price you know when they're either discounted or on sale or whatever um, but my I ordered eight cars from uh, leisures I think it's L E S H E R S or maybe it's leisures lessers diecast and I've ordered from them before never been a problem um, maybe shipping is a little little slow but I ordered eight cars including a couple 2018 Mustangs um, back on October 25th Today's November 12th, and I haven't heard anything. At one point, there was this tracking number in my eBay, um, you know, purchase history, but now it's gone, and I got nothing. Um, so I put in a, uh, I sent a message to him, no response, and so unfortunately, I had to open up a, a case with eBay, and uh, hopefully he'll respond. Um, but um, but yeah, you know, I mean. I uh, I hate to do that, but when you know when it's been 18 days and I just bought some cars and I have zero communication from you, and I paid you I don't know it was, it was at least 50 maybe 60 dollars, um, 
I, I want to know what the heck's going on. So um, just just I'll, I'll let you guys know how it turns out, but um, not real happy about that. But I will say eBay over the years. I've been an eBay member for if I don't know, I've probably been an eBay member for at least fifteen years, sixteen years. Um, eBay has always been good about uh, their cases. So um, you know, whenever I've opened a case, they've been diligent about you know getting the getting the buyer to respond and and um, or you know getting the you know getting the seller I'm sorry the seller to respond and and um, and either give you your money back or give you the item so um, so yeah I, I really actually don't want my money back I want the I want the cars but I think you know after this long uh, he'll just settle and uh, they'll give me my money back um, so Let me know, you guys that ordered uh, decals from me that that um, that I sent in the mail uh, in an envelope. Just let me know you got those. Um, obviously, there's no tracking on it because I just put it in an envelope and, and mailed it. So um, there were four of you. So if you want to just you know shoot me a message or, or sh follow up with an email and say hey, uh, got it, thanks. Um, you know that would be good because I want to make sure obviously that you got what you paid for and. Um, and all's well so for those of you that have seen my videos and if you are looking for anything you know shoot me a message um, I know a couple people have inquired about decals and and I, I gave you the status and and I didn't hear back from you um, so uh, I'm gonna just trim this I probably should have done it before I put it down there but I'm just gonna trim this there a little bit Let's see if I can get rid of that wrinkle But yeah, so, um, you know, that's fine. You know, it's going to be, you know, the decals are going to go to the the person who, who pays me first. So um, if you've inquired about a decal set uh, and I told you it's available and you haven't paid and somebody else comes along later and says, hey, you know, is this available? I'm going to say yes. And, um, and they're going to get it. So... Um, so yeah. All right, you can see how you know how easy this goes on. Um, it's kind of cool. There's a little, there's a little Mustang uh, kind of a um, uh, area here. I've, I'm not sure what you call it, but it's a door, uh, uh, the door design. It's kind of the front edge of the door. Um, that's that it actually lines up with the diecast body. So that's pretty cool. Um, when that happens, so yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have a little wrinkle in here. Try to get rid of it, but It's funny. I was, I was, um, I was telling my dad I'm making this, you know, Trump 2020, you know, custom car because he knows I I've been making customs for a long time, and and uh, he lives up in Pennsylvania where they're having all the the fuss about you know the votes and you know trying to get a recount and votes uh, ballots showing up you know in the middle of the night in Philadelphia there and all that stuff. But anyways. Um, I said, uh, I said, hey, you know, making this Trump car, and and he said, uh, hey, great, you know, you're gonna make a Biden car. <laughs> and I said, I'm not too sure. There have been too many Democrat uh, presidential candidates that have, uh, um, you know, had. Uh, <laughs> had a, a NASCAR, you know, have sponsored a NASCAR, you know, race car. Um, I, I, I don't know. I've just, I've never seen it. Um, 
So, uh, so yeah, I thought that was kind of funny. All right, so that looks pretty good. There's just a little wrinkle pops up everywhere. Wonder if I don't know if I want to get more water in here or what. So I might get some. It's going to have a little bit of a wrinkle there. Not sure why. Trying to get my thumb there to get that out. You can see there's a little, little bit of a wrinkle there. All right, so let me get these other ones on here. <clears throat> yeah, so it's Corey LaJoy. Yeah, I um I was looking on NASCAR's website and I think they're making this car in one uh, I'm sorry, one twenty four scale. But not necessarily in in this 164 scale, so I felt confident to do a to do a dark blue to match what he actually drove on the track. So um, that's uh, that's what's going on there. I think oh, crap. What does this one do? So the green is on the left. Yeah. So this is going to be like this. So that kind of goes like that. Oh, sorry. So that's that. And then this last piece goes here. All right. So I was trying to get all the little bubbles out of here. Almost like so. I'm going to get a little bit of micro sole on there try to finish that up where's my microsol there it is soft up underneath there so it'll wrap around and stick pull it that way just a little bit <clears throat> yeah so my daughter's all excited she got that um, that Kenseth Copper Rose Crown Royal sold for $68. And uh, so tomorrow she's going to the mall with her friends. She's going to have some spending money. So I appreciate you guys who bid on that car. It was very... Um, she's, she's real happy with that. Nice little birthday present for her. And... Um, there was a guy in Virginia that won it. So I uh, shipped that out today. So. 
Yeah, man, 15 years old. I had $68. That I probably would have bought a lot of baseball cards with that. <laughs> when I turned 15. Probably a lot of baseball cards and army men. And uh, trying to think what else I was into when I was 15. But that was probably it. All right. That is a wrap. I'm gonna let this sit overnight. And then I'll start putting some coats of clear sealer on it. And then I'm probably gonna list this puppy. I might even be able to list it tomorrow if I, um, if I can. But, um, but yeah, I've gotta get a box for it. That's one thing I don't have. Um, last time I did one of these cars is I put it on a in a Kenseth um, Teen Caliber Owner Series box, plastic box. So I may do the same thing. I've got a couple of those um, available, but um, but yeah, I think that's pretty cool. I like the dark blue. Um, I mean, I like the uh, the colored chrome blue uh, blue chrome that I paint that I did before. But you know this is this is the color that he actually drove on the track, so um, it's nice and get you that that nice red, white, and blue color. And so um, so yeah, cool. Next one I'm going to be working is this um, this Matt Kenseth number forty two Ronald McDonald. Um, House Charities car, so I'll I'll start decaling that, and then I'll get after those Clover cars. Um, oh yeah, I, I did want to show you this. So here's the two cars that I have for the Clover, and um, had them upside down because I was letting the, letting the um, letting it dry but you can see um, this is the one that has the the small scratch in the windshield and even though I put some of the clear sealer on it there's nothing you can do about it it's I mean that's what it looks like unfortunately so um, you know I hate to do that um, but whenever you're messing with these plastic clear pieces you, you know if you if you scratch them or crack them forget it I mean, there's nothing you can do to make it look like it was, you know, like it did before. So you have to be real careful with your, uh, when you're working around there. I mean, I've used glue. I've tried to use the clear sealer. Um, there's just nothing you can do to get it to look, look good again. So unfortunately, it's going to have that mark in the windshield. So, um, yeah, it is what it is at this point those things happen so all right guys thanks for uh, thanks for watching hope you're doing well um, I think it's about dinner time so I better get upstairs and and uh, and, and wash my hands and get ready for dinner so um, uh, appreciate um, you guys commenting and and uh, watching so uh, continue to do that and we'll talk to you soon God bless